I think it's about time I show off that snide tried infinite life gaining trick that I talked about before. But first, I'm gonna show you a probably slower method, but another potential quick infinite life gaining trick here. You go on this pipe and get the star here, but just wait for the star to bounce a little bit forward first and then start whacking fish. The reason why is because you wanna get as much time with the star as you possibly can with these jumping fish. And then when you get to this line of fish, stop right about here or so, and then they'll just jump right into you and you'll get a bunch of lives. Rinse and repeat, you know, start select. But here is the trick that I was talking about earlier. Hit this Koopa, knock its shell into the hole. Gotta wait for the spike ball to move, of course. Eh, forget it. Now, hold down while swimming here, otherwise you'll bounce up like that. <laughs> and then just keep nicking the shell like like so, and you'll keep building up points until you get a 1-up. Unfortunately, you gotta wait for the tide to go back up. Yeah, it takes a while. But, yeah, you can keep doing this until you run out of time. Then you can, of course, just go right back through the level and repeat once again. And there is your infinite life trick in a nutshell. Is that not awesome? Well, kind of. I mean, it makes lives meaningless. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough Bowser Starship Part 2 with 99 lives. Here we go. May I add that uh, this level's original version did not have a midpoint. Yeah, think about that for a second. Could you imagine doing this level without one of these babies? Nor could I. <laughs> so here we go. The continuation. Attention all personnel. The jump engines are loaded, and we are ready to jump into our own world! We'll reach the Mushroom Kingdom in a few minutes. Alright. So, let's see if I can get to the end of Bowser's Starship in a few minutes. I doubt it. <laughs> let's be honest here, it's Bowser's Starship. Ah, bloopers! I gotta get a method going here for this segment, obviously. You know, so I can get some pure consistency going on. There we go. At least I made it by taking just one hit. Alright, so, Bowser Starship. Second half could potentially be more difficult than the first half, but you never know. I actually kind of forgot how where the most difficult parts of the ship are, but I do remember ugh, the ship fairly well because of the many, many tries I've had to go through this sucker. <laughs> So yeah, oh dang it, I got the platform glitch. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't want to hit the football. <laughs> okay, you, oh god, the footballs are going to accumulate. Oh god, spikes. Oh! <laughs> that third one that typically gets me because I need to have a, a certain amount of forward momentum to get through that, but at the same time I can't jump too high because, you know, I'll touch the top spike. And that would be pretty sucky. So, how can I get past this particular segment without taking a hit? Oh, jeez. Not like that, probably. Well, if I'm small, I could probably stay up high for the most part. Most part. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, please. Don't do that. Well, since the cannons fire at relatively the same intervals, I probably... Keyword probably... Can take that path nearly every time. Maybe. <laughs> Keyword, maybe. Alright, so, power up. Guess that's our only power up that we're gonna see around this place unless we go to the uh, top secret area. Well, I shouldn't say that. We'll probably see power ups later on. What I mean is, you know, it's if I don't go to the top secret area and it'll be for a while. <laughs> Alright, all the way in this time. There we go. There we go. Yo. Okay, shoot it that way. Shoot it that way. Okay, good. Oh god. Go oh, god. Okay, I think the footballs will stay back there. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Jumper or a splitter? Weren't you a jumper? Yes. Okay. Careful here. Yeah, you gotta run off. Oh, jeez. Should have 
killed off that chuck. Okay, good. Just, you can nip at my hat. I don't mind if you nip at my hat. <laughs> oh, no, you was expecting it to jump the other way. <laughs> the thing was is that I jumped a little bit too far ahead of it, and I should have just jumped on its head. Yeah. Well, that wasn't too shabby of a run, I guess. Maybe. Kind of. Might be. I'm glad I got 99 lives. <laughs> so... Let's try this method again for getting through this section. Look, I'm gonna wait for this, these two to fire here, because they appeared on screen at the same time. Yeah, that works nice. Ah! Okay, but I gotta stay in between those cannons. <laughs> I'm learning the level. Uh, they're through too much trial and error. <laughs> I could learn it a little better if I took um, more time to learn it here, but, you know, when you're re replaying the same segments, you kind of want to get back to said segments you want, you you know, you lost that. <laughs> Just kind of instinctive, I guess you could say. Okay, those fire, then I wait for the lower on the fire, good. I'm gonna scroll the screen this way. Just see what I got. Okay, that despawns those cannons, despawns those cannons. Okay, I'm definitely gonna scroll the screen forward. That's immensely useful. <laughs> All right. This first section is really, really easy here. Oh, I mean, you just wait for the piranha plants, and they're always timed in the most ideal way. Because you always, you know, pop out of the door at the same rates, I and mean, you can't pop out of the door any faster or slower. <laughs> Uh, I probably should try and keep a shell with me, actually, for certain chucks. Oh, so watch for that shell. Because some some of these chucks, like the ones... Ah, I thought I was holding forward. Like the ones at the higher portions, I might I might be better off um, throwing a shell forward at. And yeah, and I'm really glad I went outside to get 99 lives. <laughs> because I think I would have lost my midpoint by now. And I would not have been happy to have to replay the first segment again. <laughs> okay, screen scroll. And move forward. Yeah, I think that works lovely. Oh yeah! Just as long as I stay within the range, I mean between the range of the builds, I think that will go nicely. Alright. So I probably don't have to show that anymore, because I got the hang of that. Well, unless I get a winning run, <laughs> which I doubt. Uh, high bouncing football, of course. Why wouldn't there be a high bouncing football? <laughs> yeah, that that laser really does act a lot like water. Even the way stuff falls into it. Oops. Except, you know, me. <laughs> Ugh. Thought I would try something different, but nah, it didn't work. Second section starts. Piranha plants start. They are ineffective. Starts. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, there's a little bit of uh, dots on the corner of this block in case you can't tell that for some reason. I think it's actually a part of the background. Uh, you know, the background is showing through. Oh God! I shouldn't have let them accumulate. Okay, that worked somehow. <laughs> okay, keep the shell. Keep. The shell. If I can. Okay. Good. Looking good. Not so good. Dang it. <laughs> it's just. Uh, I keep ruining my best setups and. Second part. Redux. Prana plants. Redux. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> but it certainly feels like there's a lot of repetition in this part already. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sort of by necessity due to the immensely high difficulty of this sucker. Dang it. <laughs> These uh, fireballs, not the potaboos, the fireballs from the prana plants are pretty well placed. Yeah. I mean, the potaboos too, because you know, you, you gotta deal with the timing of the potaboos and whatnot. But yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Eh. No. Lost the shell. Of course, I lost the shell. Ooh! That jump scary. As long as I get the momentum, I should be okay. <laughs> yeah! Okay. We are making progress. Somehow. Some way. Yeah! 
I'm not sure that's a consistent method, but oh geez, if I were to ran forward, that would have sucked. Not sure if that's a consistent method, but it worked for me that run, so maybe I won't have to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that was a good joke. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know it's safe there, I remember that. Okay, what's forward? Fire, that's what's forward. Well, oh, didn't want to do that, but it kind of worked out. <laughs> I wanted to keep a shell for later, just in case, but no, didn't even work. Wait, hold on. Oh, ha oh, ha Hee hee! Shoot, shoot! Yeah! Uh, there's a hidden block here, so you don't have to ride the um, spark up. Yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Oh, cape. And also, moving floor. Wait, no, wait, this isn't the, it's not a moving floor segment. I'm thinking of something else. It's, uh, ice. Silly me! Yeah. It's not that bad my ice segment, though, so don't worry too. Oh, yeah, you're not affected by capes. That was my own fault. Why do I forget that? I mean, why do I forget those important details? You're also not affected by fireballs. Man, you're affected... I mean, you're not affected by Mario's main power-ups. Maybe that's why Bowser has you, um, there after all. It just kind of offsets... Mario could throw him off. <laughs> oh yeah, falling spikes. Never a good sign. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking Bowser statue room. <laughs> yeah. Me. Woo. Nothing in that pipe to see. Nothing to see here, folks. Just keep moving. Keep moving forward. Oh god. Oh jeez. The spike and piranha plant scared me. I didn't think it was gonna pop out so quickly. Ah. Ah! Jump too far. Ah, why did I do that? Oh, where did I resume last? I forgot. <laughs> I mean where did I die last? Excuse me. It's kinda kind of a good thing to know here. <laughs> I just want to kill that ninja first, yeah, because it's going to keep wandering around and blocking my pathway forward. Those, those lava lotuses aren't anything to sneeze at either. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got past this on my first, uh, yeah, my, not first run, on my first uh, uh, try through this sucker. Well, I mean, ah, for my first try trying at this part, yeah, for this run, excuse me, there we go. I knew I could eventually say what I wanted to say. <laughs> mm, go under you, slide, okay, now watch for the spiky, yeah, ow, oh, seriously? Why do I keep doing such things? Why? Okay, oh no, not this again. Not this again. Wait, couldn't I just like glide over to that? Yes, okay. Forget the Koopa. <laughs> just take everything carefully. Very carefully. I'm gonna need the Koopa here, aren't I know Ah Nah. Oh man, my cape. Oh jeez. I just happened to bounce off the spike. <sighs> oh jeez. Well, looks like I don't have a cape this time. Oh. <sighs> okay. Gotta do all these jumps without a power-up of any kind. Oh boy. Okay, where? <sighs> I didn't see the spike. <sighs> Lost everything there. I had sa I saved that cape too, just for the sake of safety. Well, looks like I'm going without now. Now I've got to watch for the spikes. Okay. Okay. 
Not okay. <sighs> oh. So that is possible with a cape if you duck. Okay. Good to know. Because then that means I can uh, try keeping the cape the whole length here. And I forgot about that spike. Whew. Focus on the Koopa. And only the Koopa. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh man. What the heck? See, it didn't fire that time. It doesn't usually. Jeez. Ah. Ah. Jump the gun. Ah, good lord. I did it again. You know what? I'm pretty burned out here. I've been at this like 45 minutes. I feel I'm not making all that much progress, so... I guess I'm gonna consider this like an unsuccessful part of sorts. <laughs> but I got some good practice on the level 4 later, so yeah. Hopefully the next part I'll be able to pull off a victory on this sucker. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.